Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here, and welcome to another movie hunting video where we are going to go to some Dollar Tree locations. Yes, they're having another Dollar Tree Blu-ray and DVD sale going on, so I'm going to go into a couple locations and see what I can find, see what stock they have, the newer stuff, the eyeball releases, all that cool jazz that we like to see from time to time. And we are at our first Dollar Tree location right here, guys. So um, let's head in and see what this adventure has in store for us right now. All right, everybody, we are in this Dollar Tree here, and they do have a small selection of DVDs and Blu-rays here. Not a lot, but a decent amount here to actually show off here. And first thing I'm seeing over here is they have Harold, uh, Napoleon Dynamite with a higher IQ. Okay, I have, what is this? Ali Sheedy is in this? Cuba Gooding Jr.? What in God's name is this? This looks like weird. What in the hell is this, man? Hero goes down as easily as a cup of lemonade on a hot summer day. I have never heard of this one, guys. God, this is weird, man. The cover is really odd here. Harold. I have no idea about this one. It looks kind of weird, and I like Napoleon Dynamite, so maybe I'd like this? Hmm, definitely let me know what you guys think of Harold if you've seen it. Hmm. And at that, they've got underground, no camera tricks, no wires, just real brutal action. Okay. Um, featuring fighters from Batman Begins, The Born Ultimatum, and Blade 2. That's interesting. What, what is this? This is a highly legal underground tournament. Is that. Huh, I. I don't know anything about this. I do like a good action movie, but I don't know anything about this movie whatsoever. It says it's like real brutal action with no camera tricks or wires, but I'm not really even sure, man. Huh, that's really weird. Huh, looks interesting. Let me know, let me know what you guys think of Underground. Huh, that's, that's weird. That's interesting. Um, they have the 10 which we saw before in another Dollar Tree video. Actually, really good movie, actually, really funny. When I picked this up, I thought it was really good at it, honestly. I did like it. Definitely check this one out, guys. Um, they have Last Days in the Desert with Ewan McGregor. You know, I heard about this movie. I haven't seen it. I think he's like Jesus Christ or something. Yeah, 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 he's Jesus. I heard this was good, but I never actually got a chance to see it. I love Ewan McGregor, man. Ewan's really great. I've not seen all of his work, but I do love him as an actor. That stays in the desert. That doesn't look bad at all. Hmm. I got that. They've got two lovers with Joaquin and Gwyneth. God, I swear I've heard of this movie, but I've never actually seen it before. Gwyneth Powder of Vanessa. So, hmm. You know, I know that Joaquin Phoenix back in the day, he was doing a lot of these, like, dramat dramatic, romantic-style movies. And he got away from them eventually and started doing some really, really interesting and fascinating work. But he was doing a lot of this stuff back in the day. I don't think I ever saw Two Lovers. Hmm. Let me know what you think. Oh, that's interesting. Um, oh, God, don't tell me this is... Oh, God. They have Justin Bieber's Believe... Oh, goodness gracious, give me a break, man. I, okay, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I've liked a couple of Justin Bieber songs, but I've never watched this. I have no intention of ever watching it. However, I heard some people said it was actually kind of good. Really? Huh, I don't know. You guys got to let me know about this one. Huh, yeah, I don't think I would ever give this a chance, even for a dollar, guys. No. Uh, let's see what they got. They've also got... 300 Rise of an Empire. I've heard mixed things about this movie. I saw the first 300 and I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was as great as everyone said it was. But a lot of people said this one was really brutal. I gotta give this one a look at some point. I never I never got a chance to watch it. No, I wasn't really interested though. Hmm. 
Not bad on that one. They have for for Brit Cinema Collection. Hmm. Don't know anything about this one. Hmm. For that they have the Adventure of the Curse of the Midas box with Michael Sheen, Lena Headey, Sam Neill. Hmm. That's interesting adventure. It's not bad at all. Uh, a young hero in ancient evil, the ultimate adventure. Huh, 17 year old brand. Never heard of this one. But I like Sam Neill and Lena Hetty and Michael Sheen for some reason. Hmm. Seems like one that might have passed me by. Never saw it before. Never saw it on any of the out and abouts or anything. Hmm. Yeah, definitely let me know what you think of adventure. The curse of the Midas box. Hmm. Kind of looks like a cool little adventure film. Hmm. Uh, then they've got the hybrids family with Paul Sorvino. Oh, this is weird. Half witch, half vampire, all teenager. Oh, kind of like a Sabrina's teenage witch kind of thing. Which like, God, this is weird too. God, Dollar Tree gets in some weird stuff as, at times, really. Kind of looks interesting, maybe for kids. Yeah, I have no idea about this one, guys. It is ages 12 plus appropriate. Family approved. Hmm. Good for the whole family, or maybe skip it. A dollar. Maybe give it a chance. Uh, then over here, they got Neverland. But this is not the Neverland that was in theaters. This is like a different one. Got like Bob Hoskins in it, Kira Knight. Nightly, was this one, was this one that came out on, like, the Sci-Fi channel? It might have came out on the Sci-Fi channel, guys, and I just, because there's, I think there was a miniseries or something that came out on the Sci-Fi channel for Neverland, but I don't quite remember this one or not. Huh. I don't remember this one too much. Oh, Reese Evans is in as well. Huh. There's only, only a few good Neverland adaptations that I actually liked. A lot of them kind of scrape the bottom of the barrel, so I don't know really about this one or not, but it kind of looks interesting. Hmm, for a dollar, not not bad. Then, let's see over here. They got... Um, Day of the Falcon with Antonio Banderas and Mark Strong. Day of the Falcon. Hmm. Never heard of Day of the Falcon either. A lot of unknown titles that I'm seeing this time around at the Dollar Tree, guys. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting right there. They also, over here, trying to get close up here if I can, guys. They got the Brothers Bloom. Oh, I saw bits and pieces of the Brothers Bloom. Not a bad movie. I didn't love it, though. Some of the comedy worked. But is this like a... Is this, like, not a U.S. release? Because it's got, I think, like, French or something on it. And it's got some French descriptions on the back. So is this, like, a hybrid of, like, a U.S. and a French release? Probably is. Hmm. That's interesting. Brothers Bloom. Hmm. They've got that. They've got... The Narrows. Vincent D'Onofrio, Sophia Bush... Never heard of this one either. How far will you go to escape a life that is closing in on you? I've never heard of this one either, guys. That's interesting. Brooklyn, made of Mike Mondero. No, I've never heard of this one at all. God, that's interesting. Another one I've never heard of. Seems to be popping up quite a bit. Huh. They got that one. They've got... They've got... The Yankles? In the bay, what is this? Man, we're seeing a lot of weird stuff this time around, guys. The film oozes humor and comic satisfaction. Uh, a down and out ex baseball player. Oh, find it hurts all the. Never heard of this sports film before. Kind of looks really interesting. The Yankles. I've. <laughs> I've looks like the oddest team I've ever seen, but. Uh, it must be pretty good or something. It seems like it won a lot of awards or something. I've never heard of this. It just might take a miracle. 
Yeah, no kidding. Never heard of this one, guys, at all. This is interesting. Never heard of the Yankles. Hmm, that's odd. Yankles. Um, let's see there. On um, online from the producer of what would Jesus do? Temptation is just one click away. What is this? This is a powerful movie. The Dove Foundation. Oh. Late one night, John logs into social networking site and rekindles his old rekindling past romance. Oh, about God and faith. Yeah, well, it's it's it's, it's from the Dove Foundation. We've actually seen a lot of, like, Dove-approved stuff over the course of doing the Out and Abouts, guys. And, well, add another one to the collection here. The, the Dove Foundation online. That's interesting. Hmm. Uh, of course, always kind of faith like that. Um, let's see. Uh, they've got Turning Green. Timothy Hutton, Cole Meany. The, the hard business of growing up. Ah, another one, man. God, 16-year-old James Powers finds himself. Oh, there his mother dies and he is forced to live with his... This is interesting, man. I I don't know anything about turn, turning green. I do like Timothy Hutton. I think the last... Well, he's... The last, the last movie I saw him in was Secret Window, but he's done a lot of really great stuff in the past, man. He did... He did that great George Romero movie, The Dark Half, which I really like. like The Dark Half quite a bit. He doesn't do a lot of work, man, but he's a good actor. Hmm, never heard of Turning Green. Uh, let's see what else they got here. They got... Legend of Zelda. Hmm. Um, they've got Numb with Matthew Perry and Mary Steenburgen and Kevin Pollack. I have never... A, a medicated love story. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, Perry scores every laugh expected and more. Um, Austin Millbrook is convinced that he's he's going insane. Huh, I've never seen this one or heard of this one either, guys. I haven't watched a lot of Matthew Perry ones, to be honest with you, because he tried to get into the whole, like, movie thing after Friends, but it didn't really work out that well. I didn't really... I like Mary Steenburgen. and I like her in, like, um... Uh, Back to the Future 3, I really liked her in that. Kevin Pollack, I like in a lot of stuff as well. Huh. Um, oh, jeez. I never heard of Numb before. It looks kind of cool. Medicated love story. Kind of a different love story than we're used to. Hmm, that's not bad. Um, then they got The Outsider with Jason Patrick and James Caan. Outgunned, outnumbered, out for blood. Another odd DVD release right here, guys. Recall from the battlefields of Afghanistan to identify the remains of his daughter, British mercenary Lex Walker. I, I, I like that character name, Lex Walker. That's one badass motherfucking name, let me tell you. Um, another sort of, uh, sort of action mo movie, or maybe on the B-level action. I like James Patrick, but James, or Jason Patrick, I should say, he's not bad as, as an actor, but uh, he does a lot of these B-level action movies, I found. The Outsider, hmm. I like the cover, though. Looks a little badass. Uh, let's see what else we got here. They got uh, more Justin Bieber. Um, Experimenter with Peter Sarsgaard and Winona Ryder. I heard of this one, but I have not gotten a chance to see this one yet. Illusion sets the stage, deception reveals the truth. I did hear about this one, but I haven't actually gotten a chance to watch it. I really do like Winona Ryder quite a bit, guys. From like Stranger Things and everything. Peter Sarsgaard is a really good actor as well, but I've never I've never actually gotten a chance to watch this. I did hear of it though. Hmm. Might be something I actually want to look into. Huh, The Experimenter. Not bad. Hmm, it's interesting. Let me know if you guys have seen Experimenter. Is it worth checking out? Hmm, L let me know. Uh, let's see, they got that. They got a place at the table. One Nation Underfed. On the people that brought you food, Inc. This addresses our country's hunger crisis, but also... Huh. 
I like a good like documentary about like very interesting and fascinating subjects like you know the the hunger crisis and food and 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 the whole na the whole like issues with it. It's gonna be kind of cool. Hmm. Hmm, that's not bad. Um, Mayfield's got the last word with another one with Renona Ryder and Wes Bentley. God, what's, I, I haven't seen Wes Bentley in many stuff. Like, he was in that Hunger Games one, and he was in, like, the first Ghost Rider movie. I don't remember him. Another one with, with, with my main girl, uh, Winona Ryder, there. I like a lot of earlier Winona stuff, but I like some of the old school stuff that she did. But some of the newer stuff is not bad either. Like, I think she was in A Scanner Darkly. I believe she was, which wasn't bad. A few other things. Hmm. The last word. Another interesting, probably romantic comedy. Yep. Romantic comedy where opposites distract. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, they have... River Y. Amber Heard, Kathleen Quinlan, William Hurt. Another romantic movie with Amber Heard, who Amber Heard... I like Amber Heard as an actress, but, you know... I saw her in Aquaman, and she was kind of wooden in Aquaman. Not the greatest. She's an okay actress, but... Mmm... Looks like an interesting romantic movie. Never heard of that one before. Uh, they also have here... Um... Happy Happy? Uh, a winning comedy. Beguiling, hugely enjoyable. Another romantic movie. We're seeing a lot of romance here at the Dollar Tree, guys. Huh, interesting, another romance movie. Happy, happy. Hmm, interesting. They also have over here, they have um, Parker's Anchor. She's still a work in progress. Okay, Parker's Anchor looks kind of interesting. Hmm, why wasn't it going to plan for? Weird, but it kind of looks kind of cool, I guess. Never heard of Parker's Anchor. They also have Freakonomics, a crazy, entertaining, tantalizing eye opener. Explore the hidden side of everything. Never heard of Freakonomics. Well, actually, not true. I, I think I've heard of Freakonomics before, but. Must be weird, dude. Phenomenally best selling book about incentive based thinking. Incentive based thinking. Very interesting. Hmm, fascinating stuff. Happy, happy. Dark Horse. Really weird stuff. Dark Horse here. Maybe the warmest, most generous movie. That's that's weird. Dark Horse. That looks really fascinating. Dark Horse. Huh, that, that one looks interesting. And they've got... Just Getting Started. Oh, for the older crowd, like my mother, who likes older romantic comedies, not bad here. Just Getting Started. I definitely got to watch this one. I am a big fan of these actors. Not bad at all so far here at the Dollar Tree, guys. And over on the other side here, guys, they have even more stuff on this section here. They have um, House Broken with Danny DeVito. Playtime is over. I have not heard of this one either, man. Dan Danny DeVito has done a lot of stuff I've never heard of, to be honest with you. I've never watched a single episode of Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which I know you guys will kill me, but I, I hear he's hilarious in it, and I've never heard of this one. This must be like an independent film he must have did or something. Huh. Kind of interesting, I guess. Danny DeVito, of all people. I hear he's actually going to be in the next Jumanji movie, which actually is really cool. I definitely am looking forward to Danny DeVito in the next Jumanji film. Wonder what he's gonna play. Hmm. Interesting there. They've also got the Scorpion King 3 Battle for Redemption. Billy Zane, Ron Perlman, man. Ugh. I love me some Ron Perlman. Billy Zane's not bad, but Oh, come on guys. Come on, man. Oh really? This does not look good. The Scorpion 3 Battle for Redemption. It it looks pretty bad. I, I saw the first Scorpion King years ago, and it was okay. It wasn't great, but I've never watched any of the sequels because I never really interested in them, uh, and still to this day, probably am not. Uh, I like Ron Perlman, but I can't. I just can't, guys. No way. Hmm. Can't do it. Then they've got, oh, they've got the remake to RoboCop here. 
Hmm. You know, I saw this one in the theater with um with John and Bob, and and we saw the movie, and oh man, I, we didn't really like the movie. It was not all that great. It was. It's a pale comparison to the original RoboCop. I mean, it's got some cool moments in it, but it kind of fails, and the designs are kind of cool, but outside of that, yeah, I didn't really like the story, and you can just watch probably the original and get as much love out of that as the remake here. Hmm. I mean, it's only a dollar, so I can't quite fault it, but yeah, I didn't really enjoy it, guys. I hate to say it. Hmm. Then over here, they've got... Dawn of the Dragon Slayer. Hmm. To become a hero, he must battle a legend. Dawn of the Dragon Slayer. The combo pack. Hmm. No, I did not hear about this one. After Will's father is killed by a dragon, he brought an epic journey to seek vengeance against a vicious monster. I like a good dragon movie. Like, Dragonheart is a really cool movie, but I don't like these sort of ones. It looks kind of cheap, though. It looks really cheap and kind of a, kind of a knockoff of better dragon movies. Hmm. Yeah, I would probably say skip this one. It's probably cool for a dollar, but I would say skip it. Um. Superman and Frenzy 75th Anniversary Collection, two DVDs. Wow. Dude, I used to be a big Superman fan back in the day. I even did watch some of the old animated stuff here. God, it's been so long though since I've watched any of that stuff, man. Blast from the fucking past, let me tell you. Jesus, man. A whole shitload of, of of episodes, though. God damn, man. For a dollar, that's not bad, man. It's not bad at all. Hmm. Uh, Harold. Ah, The Man with the Iron Fist 2 unrated cut. You know, guys, I ended up seeing the first one in the theater with Bob, and we really didn't like it. I mean, we, we liked parts of it. Like, Russell Crowe was really cool in the movie, and there's a couple things we really liked. But outside of that, yeah, I wasn't really a big fan of Ant Man with the Iron Fist. And a lot of people said the second one really sucks and is not even as good as the first one. Which, if I didn't like the first one, I doubt I would even like the second one here, guys. Um, so I kind of stayed away from it, but... Let me know what you guys think. Like I said, I wasn't a fan of the first one, so I kind of stayed away. Hmm. Got a whole bunch of the ten here. They've got... Manda Bala. When the rich steal from the poor, the poor steal the rich. S send a bullet. What the hell is this? Is that open what the hell is that? Uh, engrossing, compelling, a proper statement. Loads of dark humor and cinematic flair. Brazil is known for the beautiful beaches... Fire bridge. <laughs> Kidnapping the people who profit off them. Hmm. I have really. This is an interesting movie, man. This sounds really interesting. Wow, I'm actually kind of curious about this movie now. I really like that a lot. Huh, that's really interesting. For a dollar, that's not bad, man. I might have to give that a shot. Huh, it kind of looks really cool. Anabala. Oh, let's see what else they got. They got the Little Rascals Save the Day. Very interesting here. Another Little Rascals movie. You know, I watched the first Little Rascals movie, and you know, the one that came out in theaters years ago when I was a kid. I never really got into the Little Rascals. It was nothing that I really liked, but I. Yeah, not. It's. I don't know. I mean. Little Rascals are not bad for, for kids. I mean, it's kind of cool. But it's nothing really I'm into, though. And that first Little Rascals movie I haven't seen in ages. God. Blast from the past, let me tell you. Hmm. Got that. They've got a bunch of the ten over here, guys. They've got a bunch of the ten here. They've got... They've got... The year my parents went on vacation. Hmm. Interesting. What is that? Hmm, like a touching story of, like, you know, sort of growing up and everything, coming of age, yeah. Hmm, never heard of the year my parents went on vacation. <laughs> kind of interesting. Filled with warmth, love, heroism, nostalgia, and humor. Never heard of it. Hmm, kind of looks kind of cool. Definitely let me know what you think of the year my parents went on vacation. That's interesting. Um, they also have 
the extra man. Oh, you know, I think we saw this at at, at another Dollar Tree uh, video I did, which I never saw this one, but. Kevin Klein, I really love Kevin Klein, man. I really loved loved him in so many movies, man. In and Out, and um, I really like him in A Midsummer's Dream. I really like that that movie quite a bit. Katie Holmes is in this. Paul Dano. Really, John C. Riley's in this. That, huh? It's a master class of acting. Kind of looks really cool. Interestingly enough, hmm. The extra man, not bad. Uh, let's see, they've also got here Paradise of Juno with Julianne Hoff, Octavia Spencer, Nick Offerman, Holly Hunter, Russell Brand. God, you know it's been so long since I've seen Russell Brand in anything. God, it's been so long, dude. I think like he's gotten blacklisted from Hollywood or something because I haven't seen him do anything, man. And it's from a film by Diablo Cody who wrote. Obviously, she wrote Juno and um, that horror movie there that I forget the name of now. She she directed that as well. Or no, she didn't direct it. She wrote it. But it would be kind of good. I mean, Diablo Cody does really interesting dialogue. So this might be something that's really cool to check out. I like the cast, though. The cast is really interesting. Hmm. Never heard of Paradise, man. Talk about all the... All the um, oddball independent releases that we're seeing this time around at the Dollar Tree. It's interesting. Um, they've also got Chalk. Morgan Spurlock. Oh, interesting. The the documentary guy, Morgan Spurlock. Real real teaching leaves a mark. Hmm. In the doc comedy style of The Office and Best in Show. Chalk pulls into the... Huh. Interesting. I like Morgan Spurlock as a documentary filmmaker. Kind of interesting that he's doing something a little bit different, but I never heard of Chalk, guys. The smart comedy brims with... Hmm. Interesting. Could be in. Could be into Chalk. Hmm. They got that. They've got Home Run Showdown with Matthew Lillard and Dean Cain. No one believed in them until they believed in themselves. Interestingly, a sort of family sports comedy probably most likely Matthew Lillard Dean Cain I like Dean Cain I like Matthew Lillard well enough I actually last year at the horror convention I go to Matthew Lillard was there and he was charging like 70 something dollars for his autograph I kid you not he was he was he was he was like charging people that much money and I'm like, dude, you're not worth $75 for an autograph. I'm, I'm not going to lie, dude. You really are not. Um, it was kind of crazy. People were paying it, but I certainly wasn't. He's a, he's a decent actor, but nobody I'd pay that money for. Somebody like a Robert Englund, but certainly not him. Hmm, interesting. Uh, they've got The Jungle Bunch 2. They've got Take This Waltz. Seth Rogen, Michelle Williams. Sarah Silverman? No, I've never heard of... Oh, a film by Sarah Polly. I like Sarah Polly quite a bit. She's a really great act, act, actress. I love her in Go and The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. really like her quite a bit. And this looks like a really serious film. Very emotional and serious. Yeah, I would have never thought somebody like uh, Seth Rogen would be doing this. Never heard of this one. This looks really interesting. Take this waltz. Hmm. Kind of cool. It's a little different than normally I see from Seth Rogen. Let me know if you guys have seen it. Hmm. Interesting. They've got... Hmm. Citizen Soldier here. Real people, real heroes. I do like movies that sort of talk about the courage and the sacrifice and the heroics of, of the troops. This doesn't look half bad. Citizen Soldier is a dramatic feature film told from the point of view of a group of soldiers. Hmm. Interesting. Citizen Soldier. Hmm, not bad here. Uh, let's see here. They've got not too much else, guys, to check out. But there's a lot of independent sort of titles here this time around at the Dollar Tree. Very interesting stuff. We'll see if we can find anything else, guys. But so far, this actually looks really cool so far. All right. Let's see if we can find anything else. All right, guys. We're over in this little pile over here that they have. And... 
my god, man. Look at all this Julian Michaels here. Holy shit. Like, god damn. Like, the Dollar Tree is seriously obsessed with Julian Michaels and, and, uh, and, uh, workout videos. Holy mother of god, man. So much, so much Julian Michaels here. God damn. Good lord, man. Jesus. Uh, let's see if we can find anything worthy in this little pile here. Um, when the, when calls the heart, the community, hmm, nothing I'd be interested in. Hmm, oh, what's this? Mm, the English teacher, with Julian Moore, Lily Collins, Greg Kinnear, hmm, interesting. Julianne Moore, man. God, I did recently see that movie that I talked to you guys about in the out and about there, um, uh, Gloria Bell, and she was really good in that, and I, I like Julianne Moore quite a bit. I really did. She's a really great actress. Hmm. Not bad. I actually... This kind of looked kind of cool. Refuse to live life by the book. Very interesting. Nathan Lane? Wow. And some of these actors I haven't seen and stuff in a while. Like Greg Kinnear, I haven't seen him in a while. Nathan Lane, I haven't seen him do stuff in a while either. Huh. Interesting movie. Hmm. I've never heard of English teacher. And then let's see if there's anything else among all of the Jillian Michaels barrage here. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Uh, we've got, what is this? Um, the Good Witch's Family. Family is a magic word with Catherine Bell. Interesting here. What is this? What is this here? Life is going over the... Looks interesting here. The Good Witch's Family, hmm, with Catherine Bell, kind of kind of looks a little bit cheesy, but um, if you're a fan of Catherine Bell, it doesn't look that bad, hmm, Good Witch's Family. Outside of that, God, again, there's so much Jill, Jillian Michaels workout stuff, man, Jesus, God, well, I don't think there's much else to show off outside of a crap ton of Jillian Michaels. But actually not bad this time around here for the Dollar Tree sale, actually. Some cool independent stuff and a shit ton of Jillian Michaels. All right, guys. Well, let's head out. It's a small but decent size stack that this Dollar Tree got in, guys. But I will have to admit, though, that there are some really fascinating and interesting independent titles here that I have never heard of guys whatsoever and it seems like the Dollar Tree always gets in these type of titles that is really unique and something that you've never quite heard of before I've been finding that out doing these Dollar Tree videos and this time is no exception guys so there's some really interesting stuff here and I will also admit that I've went to a couple other Dollar Tree locations already and I'm finding that not everybody got stock in this time around for the sale I'm noticing that some Dollar Trees got stock and others got left behind, which is really weird. So not every Dollar Tree that you go to might have this sale, guys. Some got sent copies and others not so much. So I was actually lucky that this one actually had a really interesting selection of titles, guys. I'm going to head to one other location and see what I can find. In the meantime, not bad at this one, guys. Let's see what else we find on this adventure. Some really interesting titles so far, guys, and you know, a lot of unexpected stuff I was not thinking I would see. Well, and let's be honest, a lot of stuff that I didn't even know about either, so that's always cool for these hunts, guys. So now we are at our second Dollar Tree location right here, guys. So let's go in and see what this Dollar Tree will have. Hopefully a hell of a lot more, and hopefully a lot of cool, exciting titles. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we are at the Dollar Tree here, and they have quite a lot to show off here, guys. Very cool right here they got. And the first thing I'm seeing over here is they have a movie featuring Randy Orton, That's What I Am. With Ed Harris? I have never heard of this one before. I'm a teacher, I'm a singer, I'm a writer. I've never, I don't, what is this about? 
Set in California against the backdrop of the mid 60s. That's what I am as a coming of age story. Hmm, no, I never heard of this one at all, but they're promoting it because it features Randy Orton, and this is a WW. This is a WWE produced movie. God, that's weird. Jesus, man. And, I mean, it looks like a cool little film, but do you really need to know that it features Randy Orton? I mean, can it just go off the movie itself? Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, they have here, they have Dragon Slayer, we saw, Narrows, Legend of Zelda, Yankles, a lot of Herald. Uh, Descent with Rosario Dawson. The original theatrical version, NC-17. I have never heard of Descent before. Acclaimed actress Rosario Dawson plays the most controversial role in her career. Oh, jeez, no, I never heard of this one with Rosario Dawson. And I really like Rosario Dawson, too. Very curious of, of this movie, guys. NC-17, I have... No idea, because, you know, I go to the movies a lot, and they have that rating, NC-17, and I wonder why they have that rating, because they never show any of those movies in the theater, but, hmm, I'm kind of curious, I'm really, really curious about this one, guys, I don't know anything about it, let me know what you guys think of Descent if you've seen it before, let me know, hmm, no, I've never heard anything about Descent, it's interesting, uh, Underground, we saw Mandabala, we saw... Parents, we saw the Marine Three with uh, the Miz. They they really are trying to make the Miz into like this like big action guy, right? Because they, I mean, they did it with the Rock and they did it with John Cena, and I guess now they're trying to do it with the Miz. But I don't really see the Miz being as good as John Cena or the Rock. You know what I'm saying? And I think he's got that show on the USA Network, right? That sort of reality show. I think he does. Hmm. Yeah, I I saw the first Marine. That's all I really ever saw, so I don't really ever want to watch any of these Marine movies, but, mm, yeah, I think I'll skip on that one. Uh, they got the 10, a bunch of the 10 here, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Wow, they got that whole shitload of the 10, guys. Okay, that's like all the 10 right, right there. Wow, uh, they've got King Arthur Excalibur Rising here. Looks kind of like a cheap sword and sorcery Arthurian knockoff, which I am not really interested in. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is a mild skip, guys. Hmm. Uh, Rise of an Empire. Oh, got more bully from Justin Bieber. Oh, oh, baby. Uh, they got uh, Two Days in New York. A film by Julie Delpy has Chris Rock and Julie Delpy in it. Hmm. Never heard of this one. It's extremely funny. One of the funniest films of 2012. No, I never heard of this one at all. Never heard of this one either. I do like Julie Delpy though. Yeah, she was in that remake of American Werewolf in London. That 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 one set in Paris. I really actually liked her in that a lot, and she's done a lot of cool stuff. I do like Chris Rock. Hmm. I, no, I never heard of this one. Hmm, looks interesting. Two Days in New York. Ooh, they got Paradise that we saw last time, but this one has the slip cut cover with it. Very cool. They got a John Cena double feature here of Legendary and Reunion, which I have never seen any of these ones. Danny Glover, Patricia Clarkson is in there. Some weird WWE movies. That, that one, that's what I am, and now this stuff, too. I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's kind of cool seeing John Cena do some different stuff. I kind of like him, actually. I really liked him in um, in Blockers, and, you know, he, he was in those Daddy's Home movies. He's getting better as an actor. I, I don't know about these ones, though. Hmm, not sure about these ones. Uh, they've got Paper Soldiers with Kevin Hart, man. That's a young Kevin Hart, man. Oh, that was like a really young Kevin Hart. With these like these, the hood can rest easy. Okay. Um, crime has never been more disorganized than in Paper Soldier. Proving 
No, never. Uh, hip hop comedy from Rockefeller Films. Man, look how young Chris Rock is, man. Damn. Must be an older comedy. Never heard of Paper Soldiers b b before. That's interesting. Hmm. Paper Soldiers, Happy Happy, some Johnny Test. Never saw, heard of that, any of that. Oh shit. They have porkies. Holy fuck. I would have never in a million years thought they would have porkies here at the Dollar Tree, but there you go. That's interesting. Out of all the out of all the movies I thought we'd see at the the Dollar Tree, it wasn't gonna be porkies, but okay, that's really cool. For a dollar, that's 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 worth a pickup if you guys do not have porkies. And Rise of an Empire. Blood sanding gold. Everyone has a price. Hmm. Interesting. Looks looks like kind of this action knockoff movie. Hmm. Curious George. If you're up for dancing, they got Honey 3 Dare to Dance. I only saw the first Honey film, and after that I kind of... I didn't want to check out any of the other ones. I'm not big into these dance movies, guys. The only one I really actually liked was Magic Mike. Outside of that, not much else. Hmm. Yeah. If you're a fan of the Honey franchise, I guess they got Honey 3. Hmm. Oh, uh, I got Chalk that we saw before. Housebroken, Scorpion 3. Ah, The Woman in Black 2. Angel of Death. I saw this one. I wasn't a big fan of it. I, I didn't like the sequel, guys. I really liked the first movie with Daniel Radcliffe. I thought that was really good. The sequel was really lackluster, unfortunately. Yeah, it's not as good of a one as that first one, though. Hmm. Cool cover, but not a fan of the movie, though. Oh, they got Fright Night 2. Now, this is not the original Fright Night 2. This is the Fright Night 2 sequel um, to the remake, which is not even really a sequel to the remake because it's its own separate story. Um, I heard this movie was shit. I never got a chance to watch it, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because I heard the movie was real garbage, guys. Yeah, I'm going to skip this one. More RoboCop, Neverland, Curious George, The Extra Man... Iron Fist 2, Stranded with Christian Slater. I did hear of this one. I never got a chance to see it, though, but I do like Christian Slater, and I like a good sci-fi story. I heard this was okay. I heard it wasn't great with Christian Slater, but I definitely got to give it a chance. Hmm, interesting. When the contact was lost, something else was found. Hmm, I heard okay things about this. Hmm, let me know if it's worth it. They got... Five dollars a day with Christopher Walken, Sharon Stone, and Amanda Peet. What is this? And there's a sweet and low sugar coupon inside. Okay, interesting. Relationships don't come cheap. Is she like a hooker or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. It's a comedy. I, I like Christopher Walken a lot. He's a very odd actor. He does a lot of odd roles, but I really like him a lot. And I haven't seen Sharon Stone do something in quite a while, man. She did a little bit in um, The Disaster Artist, but the last thing I really saw her in was that, was that Catwoman movie, which, oh, God, got awful. Huh. That's interesting. Never heard of $5 a day. And if you guys are a fan of Sweet and Low, well, they have a coupon inside. That's interesting. Uh, they have the Coalition. When the players get played, revenge is oh so sweet. Inspired by actual events. That's interesting. What is this about? There's more than one player in the game. Huh. That's interesting. No, I never heard of this one at all either. Not bad special features on this sucker. Huh. The Coalition. Hmm, that was interesting. Also have Tiger House with Dugray Scott. 12 hours, four killers, one way out. Huh. Um, an intense thriller unfolds when a gang of armed robbers break into Kelly's boyfriend Mark's house to pull off the highs of a lifetime. 
Huh. That doesn't look half bad. I kind kind of like that synopsis. I like the cover. Nah, that actually kind of looks kind of cool, actually. Another one I've never heard of, but looks really interesting. Hmm. Tiger House. Yeah, that does look pretty cool, honestly. Hmm. You've got all this stuff over here. There's a ton of... Wow, man, there's a ton. A ton of stuff here that they got, guys. Wow. A lot of duplicates, but a lot of good stuff, too. They got Outsider... Last Days in the Desert, Bad Milo. I think I've heard of Bad Milo, but I never got a chance to see it. Embrace Your Inner Demon. Oh, look at that weird fucker. <laughs> look at that, that looks really interesting. Bad Milo, no, I don't think I've like really heard too much about it, but I've, I've, I think somebody told me once that it was really good and I gotta check the movie out at some point. I love a good monster movie. I like a rom-com and I like a monster movie, so maybe this, this might be up my alley, guys. Bad Milo. Hmm. Kind of looks really unique and in interesting. Hmm. Uh, they got here Looney Tunes, Place at the Table, Learning to Drive with Ben Kingsley and Patricia Clarkson. Huh. That's interesting. Um, Wendy there. Huh. That's an arranged marriage. God, it's really interesting. Learning to drive. I, yeah, no, I don't really, no, I don't know much about it. Huh. That's interesting, though. Hmm. Uh, they've got uh, extra man do the Berlin Syndrome with Teresa Palmer. Looks like a, a thriller or something. Berlin Syndrome. Homer is mesmerizing. Huh. I like Teresa Palmer. Teresa Palmer is not a bad actress. I like her a lot. Looks very much like one of those like heart pounding thrillers. Hmm. Interesting. The Last Days in the Desert. Pure Country, Pure Heart, which I think we've seen at one of the Dollar Trees last time. Not that they got Tom and Jerry, Scooby Doo, Frank, which actually we saw Frank at another Dollar Tree before. Which still looks really bizarre to me, man. It looks, I've heard good things about it, but it just looks really weird, man. The guy with this big ass, like, fake head on, his, on him. Here, dude. Hmm. Cartoon Collection, Citizen Soldier, Rookie of the Year. God. Man, that brings back some, some memories. Holy shit, Rookie of the Year. Man, I remember watching this when I was a kid, dude. Wow, man, this is a good movie, dude. It really is, and weird that this kid ended up being in the American Pie series. Gary Busey, Daniel Stern, yeah, man, good times. I talked previously in and out and about about like good baseball movies. This is definitely a really good baseball movie, guys. You definitely got to get up on this, man. Really great baseball movie. God, talk about nostalgia. Damn. Okay, the year, Bat Milo, Big Bigger Fatter Liar, which I believe we saw at another Dollar Tree video before. Which looks. It's, uh, it's interesting. Hmm. Doesn't look like something I'm into, but Barry Bostwick lo looks like he's getting fucked up. Uh, they got that. They got. Holy shit, they have Hobo with a shotgun. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god, guys. If you guys have not checked out Hobo with a Shotgun, you definitely have to do it. This movie is all kinds of fucked up, dude. It's one brutal ass movie and really messed up, but it is completely fun, man. This movie is all kinds of enjoyable and fun. And, and Rutger Howard is fucking wild in this movie, man. I, I remember seeing this and this was crazy. Oh man, I can't believe they have this at the Dollar Tree. Yo, that is crazy, man. Hobo with a Shotgun, holy shit. God. And a two disc collector's edition at that, guys. That's that's not bad. And and with the slipcover too, for a dollar. That's a great price. Um, you got two lovers. That wow. So far, pretty damn good, guys. Pretty damn good indeed. And they also have a ton of Blu-rays over here too, guys. Wow, a ton of Blu-rays, man. They have the Infiltrator with Brian Cranston which I heard actually good things about with Brian Cranston, but I 
I may have seen bits and pieces of it, but I didn't see all of it. But I heard good things about that one, though. Mm, they got more of the Infiltrator. They've got Tekken 2. Uh, oh, they have Doggy Dog. The Paul Schrader movie. I heard really good things about this one. With Nicolas Cage and Willem Dafoe. I did. I never got a chance to see it, but I heard really great things about this one, man. Huh. And that's a really cool Blu-ray for a dollar, and it comes with the slipcover. That's really nice. Huh. Really cool. Huh, they got that. They got RoboCop, RoboCop. Kevin Hart, I'm a grown little man. Kevin Hart's kind of growing on me a little bit. Kind of. Hmm. He's kind of growing on me. I, I'm still not a huge fan of his, but he's kind of grow, grow, He's kind of growing on me a little bit. And Hart. Hmm. Uh, Day of the Falcon Blu-ray. Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I wasn't a huge fan of this movie, guys. I, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. I don't like the fact that a lot of the stuff is fake and in, and in his own head. I don't really like that stuff quite a bit, but I... Ben Stiller's not bad in it, just it's... I don't know, I, I, I don't like the fact that a lot of it's fake. It doesn't, that doesn't feel right t t to me. It's not a bad movie, but I don't love it. Uh, Marine 3. Another Nicolas Cage movie, Rage. The past never stays dead. Hmm. That's interesting. No, I've never heard of this one either by Ni Nicolas Cage. Some really... I love Nicolas Cage, but I never see any of the stuff he's actually, like, some of the independent stuff he's done. Kind of weird. Hmm. Rage. Looks kind of interesting. Hmm. They have... Ooh, they have the Blu-ray DVD digital of Bad Words. This is a really great comedy with, with Jason Bateman, man. I own this one. This is really great. It's kind of a, a dirty comedy. It, it's, it's very much R-rated, but damn it, is it funny. Really good. I think you guys would really enjoy this one. I love Jason Bateman. He also directs this. Did a great job, man. It's about this guy just trying to um, win this, like, like, children's spelling bee, and all the complications and hilarity that goes into it. It's its really funny, man. I had a ball watch, watching this movie. Still, still do, man, I love it. Um, Citizen Soldier. Most Gasly, have you met my ghoul friend? Mm-hmm. Never heard of this. A spectacular family adventure. No, never heard of that, but I do like R.L. Stein. I like the Goosebump stuff. Okay, interesting. They've got the drowning with Josh Charles, Julia Stiles. God, I haven't seen Josh Charles in anything in a long time, man. He used to be doing a lot of movies and hadn't done something in a long while, man. I like Julia Stiles stuff from like the Bourne movies and everything. Huh, behind the scenes of the drowning. I've got some special features, not bad. I think we might have seen this at another out and about sometime, but huh comes with the slipcover too. I'm seeing a lot of ones with slipcovers here. Oh, they got the Blu-ray of The Colony. You know, I ended up watching The Colony and mm, I kind of like it. I'm not in love with it. I think the performances are really cool. I like Fishburne and, and uh, Paxson in it, but I just don't really love, like it's a cool idea, but I don't think it's done to its full potential. But I like the sci-fi aspect of it. I like they're they're in the dead of winter. It's not a bad movie. It's just okay. But it's if you're a fan of Pax and a Fishburn, I think you should give it a chance, guys. Not bad. Uh, they got that. They got more rage. They got behind enemy lines. Seal Team Eight with Tom Sizemore here. Boy, Tom Tom Sizemore. And it's straight to Blu-ray and DVD movies. I'm telling you. Hmm. I like. I like the first Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson. I like that one quite a bit. I don't know about any of the other Behind the Enemy Lines that they've done, but it's kind of cool to see like them, you know, doing sort of an 
you know, like a tr tribute to the troops and everything like that. I just don't know how the movie is. I mean, I like Tom Sizemore, but he's kind of dropped off as an actor. Mm, I don't know. Still teammate, drowning, bad words. God, another Airbud movie? Jesus. How many Airbud movies have they done? And now he's teaming up with a little monkey. <laughs> okay, 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 whatever. I'm going with it. Um, Russell. Uh, this is weird, dude. God, I, I think I saw the first Air Bud years and years and years ago when I was a kid, but, uh, yeah, this is odd, man. I don't even know how many Air Bud movies they made. Holy shit. God, man. I mean, they got Danger Close, another, like, SEAL Team Special Ops from the directors of The Hornet's Nest and Citizen Soldier. Hmm. So another one tributes the, um, the soldiers and everything. Hmm. Not bad. Ninja Close. That'd be in Scorpion 3. Dragon Heart 3. The Sorcerer's Curse. One aspiring knight, Gareth, goes in search of a fallen comet. Nah, I don't. Like, again, I like a good, I like a good, like, dragon movie. But I don't know about this, guys. Again, I like the first Dragon Heart. Dragon Heart's really great, but not sure about the sequels, though. Hmm. Cool, they got it, though. They've got... Wow, they've got Bulletproof Monk with Chow Young Fat and Sean William Scott. Holy shit. Dude, I saw this years ago, man. Damn. It's not all that great of a movie, though, to be honest with you. I mean, it's okay. I'm not going to say it's terrible, but... It was kind of like Sean William Scott's career when he was doing these action movies and trying to mix, like, the comedy with the action and didn't quite work. And Bulletproof Monk is one of those. Uh, I mean, I like Chow Yun-Fat. Chow Yun-Fat is really cool. Uh, this movie's okay, guys. It's kind of crazy that the Dollar Tree has Bulletproof Monk, man. With Sean William Scott, that's nutty. It's not a bad movie, though, but I wasn't a particular fan of it. Mm, they got The Secret with David Duchovny, Olivia Thirlby. Hmm. Mm, what if you got one more chance to say goodbye? I love David du Duchovny, dude. Never watched any Californication, but I really love a lot of the stuff that Duchovny's done. Duchovny's really, really cool as, as an actor. Does a lot of really interesting projects. I really liked him in that movie, um, Evolution. That, that sci-fi movie, comedy there, that I really like, liked him in. And of course, I love him from The X-Files. The secret, sometimes a gift can be a curse. Hmm. Kind of looks pretty cool, actually. Hmm, the secret. They've got, over here, they've got... Ping Pong Playa. Winning from search of finish. This look, oh, Jesus, this look. Don't just win, destroy. Jesus Christ, look, 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 he's literally screaming at that little kid. Oh, jeez, what the fuck? A quick-witted picture that's fast on its feet. This is a... I have never seen a sports movie quite like... I've, I know they've made other movies, sports movies, that have ping-pong in them, but there's not many of them. Is there? This is kind of really interesting. Ping-pong playa. No, I've never heard of this one, dude. Wow, that is crazy. Hmm. Kind of looks really interesting, just the cover of him literally screaming at that little kid. Oh, God. That's kind of cool. Um, they got The Warrior's Way, which I believe we saw in a previous Dollar Tree video as well. It looked okay for the time. Uh, you know, not really something I would probably be into, but it looked decent. Hmm. But that, they've got Atlas Shrugged Part 3. You know, somebody was telling me about Atlas Shrugged a while back, about the, the whole, like, Atlas Shrugged s series and that I should watch it. And I wasn't sure whether this was good or not. I'm not really sure. You guys definitely got to let me know whether it's worth it to check out the At Atlas Shrugged series. I heard mixed reviews. I'm not sure about that one. Hmm. They've got Kung Fu Killer with Donnie Yen, oh, another, another one with Donnie Yen. I said in and out and about recently, and it really is true, that I don't think they use Donnie Yen really well. I kind of feel like they misuse Donnie Yen a lot. Like, they don't know how to, like, use his kung fu skills really well. So it's kind of a bland movie. Some of 
do really good u u using his martial arts skills, and other times they really mishandle it. I, I don't know where this movie lands. Definitely let me know about Kung Fu Killer. Uh, they got that. They got a walk in the woods. Oh, I did hear the, about this one with um, Robert Redford and Nick Nolte. I did. I, I never got a chance to watch this movie. I, I saw the trailer for it, and it looked actually really cool. I never got a chance to watch it, man. I heard this was a really good independent movie that, that never came to any theater near, near me, unfortunately. I wish it did, man. Robert Redford and Nick Nolte, very interesting pair. Hmm. But then they've got Walter Mitty, Infiltrator, Tomorrow You're Gone with Stephen Dorff, Michelle Monaghan, and Willem Dafoe. Now that is a cast, baby. Never heard of this one. A lot of really independent action movies that never heard of, man. Charlie Rankin, okay? Before his past, can you look him? Hmm. I love Willem Dafoe. I'll give almost any movie Willem Dafoe is in a chance. Michelle Monaghan, hmm. That looks really interesting. Something I would probably check out, guys. Hmm. They got that. They've got Citizen Soldier, more RoboCop, RoboCop, The Number Station with John Cusack and Malin Ackerman. The code has never been compromised until now. Hmm, that's interesting. I love John Cusack, dude. I really do. Honestly, man, John Cusack's one of my favorite actors of all time, but damn, he does a lot of these movies that I'm like, dude, you could do better, bro. Oh, man, I don't know. I like Malin a a a Ackerman, especially from Watchmen. I thought she was really cool in Watchmen, but not sure about this one. I like John Cusack playing sort of the gruff cop thing like he did in Con Air, but mm, not sure about this one. If you guys know anything about Number Station, let me know. Other than that, guys, there was actually a lot of stuff here, man. Really, really cool stuff to, to check out. I mean, we'll see if we can see anything more here, but so far, man, this is really cool over at this Dollar Tree. All right, guys, and we're over right here right now where there's actually a couple of boxes that they haven't even put out yet over here. Really interesting stuff right here, guys. Some really cool titles that they haven't put out yet. Um, the Better Half with Chris Parnell and Kathleen Rose Perkins. Never heard of this one before. That's really interesting. Um, hmm, they got the better half there. They've got... Oh, they've got The Adventure of the Curse of Midas Box. They got that here as well. They've got... Compliance. How far would you go? Huh. Just terrific. Disturbing and haunting. Huh. I've never heard of this one. Compliance. Hmm, that's really fascinating. How far would you go? Huh. That doesn't look half bad. Very interesting. They got that. They've got... They've got... Drive Hard with John Cusack and Thomas Jane. Man, I've never heard of this one before. That is really odd, man. Former hotshot ra race car driver. Traded the winner's circle for... Sid. No, man, I've never heard of this one. Like I said, I love me some John Cusack. There are certain movies that I won't watch of his because I think they're kind of cheesy, but this one kind of looks cool, actually. It one looks pretty cool. This one I may give a chance to, guys. Not bad. Let me know if this is a John Cusack one we're checking out. Hmm. Um, you've got... You've got... The Great Commandments Collection. 23 features in this sucker. Holy shit. There's like a lot of movies in that sucker for a dollar. They got that. They've got... Oh, just getting started, which is definitely something my mother would be into. Just getting started. They've got... Freakonomics. The movie. That, that one that we saw before. They've also over here got... They got the DVD of The Infiltrator. They've got... Desperate Hours with Mickey Rourke, Anthony Hopkins, Minnie Rogers, Kelly Lynch. Man, I don't think I ever heard of this one. This was like a long time ago in like Mickey Rourke's career. Holy cow. Riveting entertainment from start to finish. 
No, I never heard of this one before, guys. Huh. This is like a this is like an older movie, dude. That's crazy that they have this one. No, I never heard of this one, guys. Looks really interesting, though. Huh. Hmm. I would be definitely interested to see how this movie is. Definitely let me know what you guys think of this. Desperate Hours. Oh, that is interesting. Um, they've got... 99 Homes right here. With Andrew Garfield and Michael Shannon and Laura Dern. That looks interesting. Um, hmm. That was interesting, too. 99 Homes. That's not bad. They got that. They've got... They've got... I Smile Back with Josh Charles, Sarah Silverman, and Thomas Sadowski. Love Desperately, Live Recklessly. Huh. Oh, I never heard of this one. Sarah Silverman is mainly known for her comedy. So, this looks like a drama. That's really interesting. I Smile Back. Huh. The highest... Oh, that's really interesting. Um, they've got... They've got a Dean Martin double feature here. Let's have a marriage. And who was that lady? That's interesting. They've got the three dog of tears. <laughs> oh, another one with Dean Kane. What movie won't won't Dean Kane do? That's interesting. The three dog of tears. Oh, God. They've got um, the hybrids family that we saw before. They have the last Mimsy. Oh, remember when when New Line used to do the, the Infinity Film series long ago? They did that old, like, Infinity Film stuff where it was, like, all these special features and all an all-access pass beyond the movie. They used to do that for so many of them. I used to have the Infinity Film one for, um, for Final Destination. I used to have that. God, that's really, really interesting. Never saw the movie, though, but I remember the Infinity Film series. That's crazy, man. They have that... They also have here, they have a, oh, they have a Gift of the Knife Fury, one of the um, How to Train Your Dragon adventures. Oh, that's interesting. They have this for a dollar. That's cool for, like, your kids if they're into How to Train Your Dragon. Not bad at all. Man, there is a lot of stuff here, guys. That's kind of really crazy, man. They have a lot of titles here, dude. Wow, that is really crazy, man. They have a lot of really great stuff here, guys. <sighs> wow. Very impressed. Now, that was a lot of cool titles to check out, guys. That was really, really cool. Some really surprise titles that I never thought Dollar Tree would ever carry, like Porky's or Hobo with a Shotgun. That was weird, guys, but very cool. And a lot of other independent titles that I'd never heard of, man. Dollar Tree's really good at that, man. And we saw some similar stuff from the last one, but again, not as much. We saw a lot of cool stuff and a lot more Blu-rays as well to check out. Oh, man, this was a really great surprise going to this one, man. And this was a really great hunting video going to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree usually never disappoints, and this one is the exact same, guys. All right, let's head off and finish the video. Oh, all right, everybody. I am back now from going to a couple of Dollar Tree locations for the Dollar Tree sale that they have going on right now, guys. And I have to admit, man, that I really love checking these stores out when they have the sale going on because I don't know what they're going to carry, man. And I'm always surprised by a lot of the titles that they get because it's a lot of titles that I've either not heard of um, some really cool independent r releases that I'm really glad they picked up. Some really big name titles from back in the day that they get on DVD. Or some weird oddball B-movie titles that uh, just really make me laugh, guys. Um, it's always really cool variety. And it's just really unique, this sale. And the fact that they're only a dollar, I mean, it's really the best sale that's going on. I mean, you could probably find good deals if you go to flea markets, um, you know, garage sales. But outside of that, the, the fact that you're paying a dollar for brand new movies on Blu-ray or DVD, man, that's mind-blowing. And it's one of the best deals around. And every single time, it seems to get more popular. And I can't, 
I can't blame people for checking it out. I mean, again, $1 for these things is one hell of a deal. So it's definitely worth it to get up on it, guys. And I did pick up a few titles during the trip, guys. The first couple of titles I got at the first location. And the first thing I got was the DVD of Dark Horse right here, guys. Now, I picked up Dark Horse because it kind of looked really interesting to me. It looks like this really interesting, like, quirky comedy that I thought it might be right up my alley. I mean, it's got Selma Blair in it, Mia Farrow, Christopher Walken, Justin Bartha. I mean, it's got some really great actors in this thing, man. And I like the, I like the cover and really almost anything with Christopher Walken I pretty much give a chance to. So it's something I wanted to check out for sure. So, yeah. Uh, for a dollar, why not give it a chance, man? So, yeah, I picked up Dark Horse. I also picked up the DVD of Manda Bala right here, guys. Now, I picked this up because as I was at the first location and I was looking at this thing, it looked really fascinating to me. Just a documentary about Brazil and about um, these these kidnappers and the kidnapped victims and and the corruption that's going on in Brazil, and it seemed really fascinating to me, guys. And so I'm kind of curious about the documentary. I'm curious about how they frame the how they frame the discussion between like kidnappers and the kidnapped victims and the corruption that's going on and rich versus poor. And I, I'm really kind of curious about this. I didn't know this type of stuff was going down in Brazil. So I'm really fascinated to check this thing out. And for a dollar, I figure, why not, man? It seems like something that would be right up my alley. So, yeah, I mean, definitely seems worth it. A bunch of special features as well. But yeah, dollar, not bad. Might as well give it a chance. Then the next thing that I got was over at the second location, guys. And I picked up the Blu-ray of Dog Eat Dog right here, guys. And I had to get this because I've heard nothing but good things. A lot of people really enjoy this movie who have seen it. I love me some Nicolas Cage. I love Willem Dafoe. The movie is directed by Paul Schrader, who is a legendary filmmaker. Did a lot of wonderful movies back in the day. And, you know, I'm up for a good dark thriller. And if we get a little bit of crazy Nicolas Cage on top of it, then that is always a plus as well, guys. So it's one I definitely wanted to pick up. On top of that, it came with, with the, the slipcover, which, by the way, the slipcover is in pristine condition. On top of that, you also have some special features here as well. You have Nicolas Cage video introduction. You have a Q&A with Nicolas Cage and Paul Schrader. You have a director audio commentary and a photo gallery. So I got a Blu-ray with a pristine slipcover on top of really great special features for only a dollar. Guys, this was a steal, and I definitely had to pick it up, man. So I'm glad this is now going to be in the collection. So I picked up three titles during my trip, guys. Not a lot of stuff, but stuff that I was definitely interested in getting. And I am very curious what you guys picked up, if anything. I am very curious. There was a lot of cool independent and B-movie titles out there. Some cool retro titles as well. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to choose from in this sale, guys. I'm definitely interested in what you guys picked up. Definitely let me know. And if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Check out the other videos that is on the Film Fan 108 channel right here, guys. I do the Blu-ray and DVD out and about videos every Tuesday. My Blu-ray pickup videos that I do every single month. I also do the theatrical movie reviews with my friends on top of other movie hunting videos that I've done. I've done other uh, Dollar Tree shopping videos. I've done pawn shop videos. I've done a Big Lots hunting video. I've done a lot of really cool stuff. All of them are on different playlists. Definitely check out those playlists and check out all the other content that I have on the channel. If you are a lover of movies and physical media, hit subscribe and be a part of the Film Fan Nation. 
I just want to thank my subscribers, guys. I know you love me doing these Dollar Tree videos, and I love doing them for you. I knew this was coming again for the sale, and I definitely wanted to make another video for you guys. So definitely, you hopefully you found some really cool stuff in the video, and hopefully you will check your Dollar Trees for the sale for sure. Definitely let me know, guys. But if you love the content that I do on the channel, definitely hit subscribe. And keep up to date with everything I'm doing through Twitter, Instagram and Facebook film fan went away keep up to date with everything I'm doing plus special pictures and videos I do from time to time on social media as well all right guys this is a really great sale man this is is one of the best deals in town by far a dollar for some really cool DVDs and blu-rays hopefully you guys picked up some really cool stuff and uh, I will see you back next time for another movie hunting video take care everybody hope you picked up something good and happy hunting.